Well, first I thought about what I want the message to be. What do I want to be the single point that people remember from my talk? And then I practiced a lot. I actually, I had two coaches. One was specifically aimed at English, English pronunciation and making English sentences in an English way. And the other was aimed at theater techniques and performance techniques in the presentation. That's the things that you're thinking about. And then, and again, you're, you're telling yourself, don't be nervous, oh, but I'm so nervous, don't be nervous. <laughs> I don't know if it's with everyone like that, but with me it's like that. I don't want to be nervous, but I am. What I liked about the actual performance that some of the jokes that I had in my talk, people were actually laughing. That was like a super sensation. I was like, ah, people are laughing. <laughs> After the talk, someone from the Dutch Measurement Institute emailed me and he asked me whether I wanted to do my talk again at their annual uh, company meeting because he enjoyed the talk so much. So that was really nice. And I did it. Think about things that really make you super happy or enthusiastic and build your talk around that. So something that really gives you energy or passion, because if you are super enthusiastic about something, then that will come out in your talk. So I think it's very important to get rid of things. Maybe my boss wants me to talk about this, or maybe I shouldn't do that. Just get in touch with your passion or your, your enthusiasm and build your talk around that because then it will all be nice to watch. I, I preferred that I had a six minute instead of an 18 minute talk because it's less preparation. But not only because it's less preparation, also because the less time you have, the more focused you must be. Some of the 18 minutes talks at, at our TED, but also other uh, TED talks you watch on the internet, 18 minutes is quite long to grab an audience and keep it. So you have to be an excellent performer to be able to do that. And some of the 18 minutes will be a little bit of filling because you have to get to 18 minutes. I think if you're forced to do it in six minutes, it will only be things that really matter. Some people really like to write down the, literally the words of their talks. And even one of the coaches told me that I should do that. I never do that. because, And I have, I have a reason for it. The way I practice is just practice it. I get a lot of time, first in my mind and then, you know, in the car when you're driving, just reciting it in your head. Because sometimes I do write down my talks because I'm too lazy to prepare it in words all the time. And then what happens with me is that I start thinking about what I have on the paper. How do the words look like and what's the next word? Well, if you just recite it, it becomes something like a mantra that's in your head and you don't forget it. So. For me, writing down is, isn't so good. And I think the general lesson for it to be learned from this is do it in a way you like it yourself and well, take advice from other people. But if you have a certain way of preparing it, then that's, if it works for you, then that's probably the right way.